Hey everyone, it feels like I'm being watched, but in today's video, we're going to be talking about Material UI's paper component. Now, the paper component is a pretty simple component, although a lot of the times it's pretty misunderstood by people, and you might see it in some examples of other components and not quite understand what it is. So I want to make a very quick video, it doesn't even require its own code sandbox, just to talk about what paper is and how to use it and when you might want to use it. So. If you find value in this video, make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you leave a comment, it helps so much with the YouTube algorithm. Now, if we look at the documentation, essentially you can see that paper is just sort of Material UI's background component. You want to use this anytime that you have, let's say for example, something that a custom component that you want a Material UI uh, background in, you know, something that's compliant with Material UI. A lot of the times if you're using other components, bigger components like cards or accordions and stuff like that, the paper uh, component will already be there um, internally so you don't have to worry about that. But that's essentially what it is. It is just a background and there are a couple of nuances you have to know about it. For example, there is a variant prop and that variant prop is pretty simple as well. All it has is either elevated or outlined. If it's outlined, it will show like this with a little border around it but if it is just elevated which is the default so you don't have to pass anything in for that you will see that it sort of just looks like this and depending on the elevation you give it on a dark mode of material UI's theme it will either increase the uh the opacity or decrease the opacity so pretty much make it either black or a lesser shade of black and if you are on are on a white background in the regular mode um elevation all it does is really give it a tiny bit of border and box shadow so you can see here the two examples of the actual uh, elevations in dark mode and light mode. In light mode, um, if you have an elevation of zero, it's just going to be no border, no nothing. You won't be able to tell it's really there, so it doesn't really have that much of a use case. But if you start giving it elevation, it gives it a bit more shadow around it and a bit more of a pronounced border. While in the dark mode of it, if you uh, have an elevation of zero, it's just going to be black. And then the more um, elevation you give it, the more sort of light the square becomes. Now, the other thing you want to know is it has a square prop as well. And that square prop will just um, determine whether or not, and it is false by default. You can see by default, the square of the paper element sort of has rounded edges. If you just set the square prop, it will make it so that the edges are completely square um, and there's no roundedness to them. So other than that, the only other thing you should know is if, for example, you wanted to change the background color of one of these, it doesn't actually inherit the Material UI's color prop, which allows you to set the background color to anything. So if you wanted to use it, sub, uh, if you wanted to do it like that, what you could do is pass in the SX prop, which just basically allows you to style it. And then you can pass in a background color, uh, background color and set it to something like red, for example. And if you did want to use a theme color, you can check out the video we did on SX props, but essentially in SX props, you have the opportunity to pass in theme as well. Um, and if you want to do that, you just do theme, and then you can just pass in, you know, something like uh, theme the art, uh, primary dot main. I believe, and there you go. Um, it'll change it to primary.main, which in Material UI default theme is going to be this sort of blue color. But that is pretty much it for the um, paper component. Like I said, a lot of the times, unless you're building a component from scratch, you personally won't need to use this, but just know this is this is the, the component they use under the hood for a lot of their bigger components, especially if you're using some of the more complex ones. And if you like this video and found value of it, it was really quick, leave a comment and it helps so much with the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you guys in the next video.